Today I'm going to give you my shooting impressions of the Glock 19 Gen 5, and that's coming up next year on Just CB Outdoor. Welcome back everybody, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So once again, I'd like to thank my buddy Matt for loaning us another gun. He loaned us the Springfield Hellcat. If you guys want to check that video out, come back after the video. I'll leave a card up here for you to click on to go check that video out. Matt was nice enough to loan us a Gen 5 Glock 19 here. Now all the Glocks that I've owned and shot have been Gen 4s. And I'm really excited to shoot this Gen 5. It has some differences on there. And it's got one thing being the left-handed shooter that I really like. But let's go ahead, load up a magazine, and do the first rounds in it. Now the great thing about him loaning me a Glock is I got a ton of different Glock magazines and we're going to try them all out during this video. This first one I got here is a stock factory Glock magazine and I got it loaded up with my reloads with a 124 grain lead bullet in it with tight group. These tend to be a little bit snoky but they're just perfectly fine for planking so let's do our first magazine of these. There we go, I got to aim a little higher on the smaller plate. Alright, first magazine, what's my thoughts here? Over the Glock 19 Gen 4 I used to have, I think the trigger might be slightly better. Maybe the same, but slightly better. Still handles the recoil pretty good. I've always liked a gun this size. Of course, you still got the junk plastic sights on the Glock. You're not going to get away from that unless you change them. Not bad so far. Let's put another magazine through it. All right, next magazine we got here is a KCI USA mag. This is a Gen 2 one from them. Let's try this out. And since I could do it, let's do the slide release here. Worked perfect. I like that. Try this again. Now real quick, I want to go over some of the difference here between the Gen 4 and the Gen 5. I got my Glock 17 Gen 4 here. This is actually the only Glock I own anymore. I got rid of my 19 and my 26 just to move on with different guns for the channel. But right at the front, you can see here, the one thing that's different on the Gen 4 here, you can see it's not beveled that much. And here on the Gen 5, they got a nice bevel on that. That helps you put it in the holster really good. And then the other thing you can see here, not all the Gen 5s come with it, but this one did. It's got front cocking serrations. This one didn't on the Gen 4. And then another thing that is different between these is you can see Gen 4 here. We got finger grips right here. And they got rid of that on the Gen 5. I really like that feature. Then we'll flip them over on the back here. We got the Gen 4. You can see there's not much of a Megwell bevel there. And on the Gen 5, it is way more beveled. I really like that about the Gen 5. So that's some of the differences here between the Gen 4 and the Gen 5 that we got here. But I can tell you right now, the other thing I like being a lefty is you got the slide release right here. On the Gen 4s and older, there's no slide release. I really like that being a lefty because I can actually drop the slide and use it as a slide release if I want to. This is the first gun I've ever shot to have that, and I really like it. Now what we got here is a factory Glock magazine. All these are 17 rounders too if I didn't mention it. This one's got a Kane Arms mag bumper on it. Let's try this one out and have some fun with this one. Ooh, we didn't have a lock back. That could be either my reloads, but it seems like it's probably this magazine. Probably caused by the extension on it. Now we got a, a Men 2 magazine that we're going to try in this. See how that works out here. Lock 
back, back perfectly fine. Now we got a Magpole fun stick. Let's have some fun with this. Love the reset. I've shot Glocks for a long time and I could hit that reset perfect on me. Nice. I'm really liking this Gen 5 over the Gen 4. Alright, now what would a Glock video be without a Glock fun stick? This one is a factory Glock one, and I'm just gonna let her rip on this. Nice. Gotta love a fun stick. So what's my final thoughts on the Glock Gen 5 here? I think Glock knocked it out of the park with this one. It is a lot better designed than Gen 4's and older. I like that on this side you have a slide release being left handed so I can actually drop that. And my other favorite thing is, is it got rid of the finger grooves right here. But besides that to me, it seems to shoot the same as with my old Gen 4 that I have. But I do like this version a lot better. So don't forget to check the links out down below to Axial Hearing Protection. I got links down there with a discount code. And I got other discount codes and affiliate links down there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. We are One Nation Under God. And I'll see you all on the next one.